Hello, welcome or welcome back my favorite movement enthusiasts to today's power yoga session. While this will be a total body workout as usual, we'll be focusing a little bit more on our spine as well as our back, working not only on our strength, but also on our flexibility. And as usual, we will be doing pranayama with our work, meaning that we will be actively breathing with our diaphragm and adjusting our movements to our breath. So you could almost consider this a vinyasa flow as well. For our starting position, we will be seated like so. Bring our hands towards the ground and just move all the way down, face to the floor. Now we're actively pushing our chest down and now we're gonna breathe in, moving forward, rounding our back from the very top, actively pushing our pelvis towards the ground and elevating our knees for an upward dog position. And then when breathing out, we will reverse the same way, rounded back from the very top, sitting back into our starting position once more. So let's go through this, breathing in. Deeply expanding our stomach and breathing out, reversing the movement, breathing in through spinal flexion, rounding the back, pushing down towards the ground actively and breathing out through spinal flexion as well, all the way back. One more time, breathing in. Spinal flexion, push your hips down, spinal extension, raise your knees, hold for two, one, and breathe out, reverse all the way, and sit back down. Now we're gonna take our left arm, put it through to the right side, bring our shoulder as well as our hand into complete contact with the ground and open our right arm towards the ceiling. Now be careful to push your pelvis back all the way so we can lengthen our spinal erectors and add that thoracic rotation with this static hold for another three, two, one, and we're gonna do a direct switch, meaning the right arm to the left side, shoulder and hand in complete contact with the ground, and open your left arm into some thoracic rotation while pulling your pelvis back all the way for another five, four, three, two, one. So now we've added the tiniest bit of spinal rotation to our flexion and extension. We're going to extend both arms in front again. And now we're going to double from a two-pose switch to a four-pose switch. Meaning, breathing in, forward into an upward dog. Breathing out, backwards and up into a downward dog. Breathing in once more, all the way from the top. Forward into an upward dog and breathing out, reversing from the very top, lengthening our shoulders back into our starting position. So let's go through this one more time. Deep breaths. Breathing in, up dog. Breathing out, down dog. Breathing in. Up, dog, and breathing out. <sighs> Starting position. One final time, breathing in. Breathing out. <sighs> breathing in. And breathing out all the way back into our starting position, arms extended. And we'll do a little bit of a sway from the left side to the right side while we are relaxing in our starting position just for a handful of seconds. Because we're going to continue with another four pose sequence. But we're going to switch it up a little bit. And this one is going to require a little bit more strength. So if you're ready, back to the middle, we're going to work with deep breaths once more. This time, however, 
breathing in as closely to the ground as possible, moving forward into our upward dog. Number two, we're gonna push back while breathing out into a downward dog. Now it's gonna get a little bit tricky when breathing in close to the ground, forward into our upward dog once more. And then when breathing out again, very close to the ground, reverse into our starting position. So most of the movement is now very close, chest to the ground. So one, breathing in, up dog, breathing out, reverse, downward dog, breathing in, close to the ground, up dog, and breathing out, reverse, close to the ground, knees on the floor. Two more rounds, I know you can do it. Breathing in, forward, breathing out, backwards and up. Breathing in, close to the ground, forward. We're basically doing a Hindu push-up of sorts and breathing out, reverse into the starting position. Get ready for our final round, breathing in, upward dog. Don't forget to raise your knees, actively push your pelvis down, breathing out, downward dog, breathing in, up dog, and breathing out, all the way back into our starting position, left arm to the right side, shoulder and hand in complete contact with the ground, and again, some thoracic rotation for our spine for five four three two one and switch it up right arm to the left side left arm towards the ceiling thoracic rotation once more for another five four three two one and both arms forward once more. And we're gonna reduce from a four pose sequence to a two pose sequence once more. And this will be practically our last one. So we will move forward into a quadrupedal position, turning our hands outwards and breathing into extension in our spine. And when breathing out, hands inwards, arms and shoulders long, Flex your spine, push your pelvis forward, let that head hang loose. And we're gonna go through cat cow a handful of times together, breathing in. Cow spinal extension, breathing out. Cat spinal flexion and breathing in. Spinal extension and out. Spinal flexion, two more rounds in. Hold for three, two, one, out. For another three, two, one, in. Three, two, one, and out. Five, four, three, two, one, and push back into our starting position. Face down, push your chest towards the ground, lengthen your shoulders. Take one or two deep breaths. And slowly sit up. We're gonna finish the whole session in a seated position. Now you can either stay this way or you can change your sitting position as long as you can stay fully upright in your upper body. And we're gonna bring both arms forward, breathing in, lengthening our upper body and breathing out, totally collapsing our upper body. Let your head hang loose completely and your arms in front of you. And we're gonna repeat, breathing in, lengthening our upper body fully upright, and breathing out, rounding our back, hanging our head, 
And then... Out. One final time, breathing in. Hold for three, two, one, and breathing out. Full relaxation. And that's basically it for today. We've been mostly working on our spine, spinal flexion, spinal extension, spinal rotation, but we're also going through a lot of poses that require a lot of strength, especially the switch and adjusting it, synchronizing it with our breath, pranayama, makes it a little bit harder to follow, requires a little bit more strength, but is amazing for people who want to start out their day with power and strength or for people who struggle with tightness in their back especially if you've just woken up or over longer periods of time i hope this was helpful if it was like comment and subscribe check out other videos on this channel because we literally have new ones every single day so until tomorrow captain cairo peace out